Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen updates with a more call to action and get involved kind of update. Uh, ping pong ball bug. So the ping pong ball or golf ball bug or whatever you call it is getting fixed at the moment apparently. Whether it's a hot fix that's getting rolled out or just an update to affected players accounts, I don't know. So if you were affected by that bug, it would be cool if you could drop a message in the comments below just so I know that it's been fixed. I was never affected by it, but I know a lot of people were. So other things. Cargo updates. There are a few questions answered on the Spectrum forums about cargo. Uh, will there be a ship's cargo manifest soon for traders to see what they actually have on board their ship? Yes, the plan is to have players be able to not just see the goods within their current ship, but across their whole fleet. So if you can't ever find your crate of diamonds, you can simply open up your manifest app on the Mobiglass and find out where that is and what ship that's on, or if it's in a hangar or whatever it is. Other than the issues facing players trying to deliver cargo to the vendors, I was wondering what other tweaks and changes will be coming to cargo transportation in the next few builds. The plan is to add more intuitive ways to track your cargo as well as being able to move one SCU containers. Beyond that they're scaling cargo with outposts and the demands of the system as new stations and locations are expected to add new commodities forming smarter and more dynamic trade routes. Internally some of the biggest questions they're looking at are answering are the handling and loading unloading of cargo particularly with cargo ships that store their cargo externally. They're going to be growing the cargo design to support other related systems, notably smuggling, piracy, salvage and mining. As those mechanics come online, expect cargo to grow to support them. As with pretty much all the other mechanics, they are open to everyone's feedback on this. Some people want it to take care of it itself, some people want to manually unload it, some people want it fast, some people want to take time. How and how long it takes to load a ship is definitely something that they want to get right and they're going to be tuning it once they have a solution that they're happy with internally and they talk further about NPCs and the potential there for them being the solution to cargo loading and unloading. NPCs would be an interesting solution since the increase in computation for AI pathing of taking cargo back and forth, the number of entities on screen, the speed with which they will need to be able to move the cargo and the possibility of interfering with the process. So um, people or NPCs standing in the way, moving the ship, closing the loading ramp creates additional overheads that will need solving on the development side. Some ships require lift access to reach, others need ramp access or door access, while the bigger ships require physically EVAing the cargo up into place. And there's going to be AI pathing problems to solve too. None are insurmountable though, but it's more technical limitations in a potentially very busy landing zone. So they can't just dream it and build it. They have to explore a bunch of solutions to whatever problems arise. They do say as well, whatever they do, they'll keep pushing immersion wherever possible, but the dream might take a while to reach however obvious the idea might be. And that's kind of true of all of the solutions for mechanics and problems. A lot of the idea, it does take a while for a more obvious solution to present itself when it comes to certain mechanics and the way things work. And that's going to be a lot down to the community giving feedback and discussing possible ideas and solutions. There is also currently a feedback survey based on 3.0 experiences for ship balance in combat scenarios. Now, this was the little post that actually made me want to do this video. This And is the main call to action and public service service announcements or whatever else you want to call it. And um, so I'll read straight from the blurb again. In an effort to assess the status of combat, we would like your feedback on various ships that you've taken into battle. Although there are other issues that impact combat and balance, weapons, missiles, IFCS, etc., which are also covered, this particular survey will focus mainly on the ships and their operation. Please only fill out the survey for the kind of ships and scenarios you have experience with, but note that you can take the survey multiple times to provide feedback on various various combat situations you may have experienced. The scoring is deliberately set up to avoid everything is perfect style answers. So think hard and choose wisely. You can find that survey as well as everything else that you can kind of get involved with linked below. It is a quick one to two minute survey per ship and these surveys and more of the requested feedback from CIG really help shape balance and mechanics and the game at large as they go through the development process. In this situation, it's likely to be more ship combat, flight model balance and stats related, 
I can't, however, emphasize enough that if you back Star Citizen and have played 3.0, then fill in the survey to help have your say and shape the product more in the way that you want. And not just for the survey, but with the dev posts and the reply for uh, mechanics threads and feedback on cargo and things like we discussed a minute ago. The game is in open development, but we're the ones that need to exercise those rights to have our say. And the reason that I love the Star Citizen project is that you can get involved with the project and your feedback literally helps shape it. And I think that's probably one of the best things about it. Every month we have a giveaway for January. It's for our Hammerhead gunboat donated by our featured org, IDF, the Intergalactic Defense Force. They're a lawful org that focus on trade, security, teamwork, but will dabble in all areas of the game. Links below if you're interested in checking them out and if you're looking for an org, they are active in 3.0 now. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that Hammerhead though is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and then comment on any of my Star Citizen content during the month. Do you have any questions about Star Citizen or Squadron 42's development, gameplay mechanics or suggestions for videos or whatever? Chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of them, then you can find links to Patreon down below as well as everything else we've talked about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.